Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. Been obviously very happy and posted some positive clips and themes from Sunday's win over the Browns about how they secured that victory, make up Fitzpatrick's big fourth down breakup, the O-line doing really good work against the Browns. Want to talk about one negative play, though, from Devin Bush on the only touchdown allowed by the Pittsburgh Steelers and why that play was easily preventable. Check out the clip here. This is the Ernest Johnson's 10-yard touchdown run. He's going to run off to the left side here to the field side. Kind of a, a, a weird setup here, inverted veer type uh, play with a backside guard puller on this one. Kind of watch this thing through. It's a little strangely set up with Johnson out running the puller on this play against kind of that inverted veer type of deal. But what happens here, and specifically to zero in on Devin Bush with Alex Highsmith crashing down here, the unblocked man, the read man, on the play, Devin Bush scraping over the top, and this play should have been contained. Uh, they're in good position, too, and we kind of break it down right here. Minka Fitzpatrick has outside contain, and that means Devin Bush should have inside leverage. Minka is forcing this play back to the inside to where his help is at, and that should be in the form of Devin Bush. Unfortunately, Bush completely overruns the play, allows that cutback lane for Dearness Johnson to, to square his shoulders, get vertical, and get upfield and into the end zone, basically untouched and so this play should be contained make up it's Patrick on the outside Devin Bush with inside leverage and uh, Bush unfortunately just does not take a good angle to the football so look at it from the aerial view this is Devin Bush right here and his angle just too flat not downhill enough not playing inside out and uh, playing over the top but even if make up it's Patrick was not there he still want to play this thing inside out force the running back to the edge uh, but especially with the help that Bush had on this play, make up its Patrick on the outside. Bush should be able to, to, to take away the cutback lane. This play should have gone nowhere and set as a touchdown for Dearness Johnson. And you see some of the body language on this play. Devin Bush, he knows that uh, he screwed up here. Make up its Patrick looking at him. And then Cam Hayward as well on this play. Hands kind of up like, you know, what the heck happened? This one should have been contained. We had this one, um, you know, stopped. And unfortunately, Devin Bush just overrunning the play on this play, a really poor angle by him. And it leads to a Browns touchdown. So I'll say overall, I don't think Devin Bush had a terrible game. I think other snaps I watched, other than this this big obvious miscue, um, he did not play that poorly. But this is the one play, you know, where you, you magnify the issues and it leads to, to the Browns' only touchdown in this game. And this is a routine play that Devin Bush needs to make. And as Tomlin says, the routine plays need to be made routinely. And that means every single time, every single time Devin Bush should take the right angle to that play. He's unblocked. He's clean. He sees the ball. He's got to be able to make the play there, and he does not. And so I know we talk a lot about, you know, Devin Bush looking for big plays and playmaking and the splash and all that, and that's all well and good and important. But for Bush, where it starts is making those routine plays consistently. By and large, he did do that in this game. I don't want to be overly critical and, and lose sight of that fact and make it, you know, we're just easy to pile on to Devin Bush because he's taken so much criticism this season. He played overall pretty well in this game, but that is a massive mistake and a really key critical situation that is easily avoidable and not a mistake. A guy is talented and at this point as experienced, even though he had the injury last year, um, a guy like Devin Bush should be making. And so that's disappointing and you want to see those routine plays be made routinely. And then I think the big plays will come after that. So I want to break down that touchdown allowed Devin Bush, a really poor angle, should have been stopped instead at six points for Cleveland. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe if you guys have not done so already. And we'll talk to you soon.